Hi everyone, so in this video I'd like to revisit um, a dream that I had already shared with you. It's a dream that the Lord gave me many years ago and I had uh, touched on that dream in my video called um, What the Lord Showed Me in Regards to the Realm of Finance. Um, so I want to bring that dream in relation to XRP because um, when I had that dream, it was many years ago, it was maybe... I don't know, nine years ago, 10 years ago. I don't know. It was a while that I had that dream. Um, and um, and in that dream, I didn't know anything about um, cryptocurrency. I, I don't even know if cryptocurrency existed when I had that dream. Um, I don't think it did. And if it didn't exist, that means I probably had that dream more than 10 years ago, actually. But, um, but anyway, the other thing is, I'd like to let you know that I'm not uh, a financial advisor and I'm not qualified to um, help you to make any financial decisions. So you really must take everything I say uh, to the Lord, you know. Um, yeah, take take this word, this video as um, a part of uh, a part of your search or your seeking uh, in what the Lord is saying, you know. Um, and, and if, if the Lord does let me know something that he wants me to say, this is prophetic, this is from him, then I will say, this is from the Lord, you know? Um, yeah. So anyway, um, you know, uh, I already said to you that the Lord showed me, um, X marks the spot, you know, when the Lord was speaking to me about XRP, that was one of the, um, one of the phrases that the Lord used when he was explaining to me um, or when he was introducing me to XRP. Um, yeah, so he was using that uh, phrase, X marks the spot. Now, because this video, I'm mainly reaching trying to reach uh, a group of people who are probably on the fence you know in regards to um cryptocurrency i, I feel conv convicted in my heart to to make this video and to uh, do a call a, a spiritual call as it were um yeah so anyway so the lord said to me x marks the spot now a few years ago many years ago i had this dream which i had already described in a, a video uh, on financial, what the Lord showed me about the financial realm. And in that video, I described to you the dream I had where we were all standing outside and there was a, and the, the bank had, um, the banking system had, sw had switched to a completely different system. And it was like somebody pulled a curtain. Do you remember that dream? I said somebody pulled a curtain. And in that dream, I was very perplexed and and they're very shocked, unbelievably shocked, and so was everybody else. And um, and one of the things that perplexed that got me so shocked and confused in a dream was I was asking myself, I was asking, so where is? I said, I said, what is this? You know, what about uh, silver and gold? Uh, you know, I was I was just trying to make sense of how can they just switch the system it, it didn't make sense of course fast forward uh you know many years on it's clear now that the reason why in the dream i was wondering shouldn't it be gold or silver is because i had no understanding about cryptocurrency in fact cryptocurrency was not uh known in, in when i had that dream i don't know if you if they were developed if it was being developed behind the scenes who knows but we did not people nobody knew about cryptocurrency that time when i had that dream okay um so um so now recently i've been asking the lord i keep going back to that dream and i keep asking the lord i said to the lord has that happened because now i, I feel that um that this the fact that the system switched overnight and um and in that dream i was uh, I, I said to you that i i woke up and i was i was so pet uh yeah i was really scared and uh, not scared as in horror movie scared but you know i was 
very concerned. Why? Because in the dream itself, it seemed like we had all missed out. It seemed like we had all been deceived. That's how it seemed. And I stood with the rest of everybody else. We were standing outside in front of a bank and the bank opened and it seemed to us like they had been doing something behind the scenes. And this is what we were saying in the dream. This is what I was saying to myself. My heart was saying to myself as I observed what was going on. I said to myself, they've been doing this behind the scenes. You know, and then the, and then it's like they pulled the curtain and boom, it was a new, new system, new everything. It's like, how, you know? So when I will, oh yeah, yeah, sorry. So in waking, as I was waking up from that dream, I was saying to myself, I wish I had prayed. I wish I had prayed. And I woke up. And when I woke up, I was filled with, um, that's what I mean by afraid but it's not like horror movie fear it was more like um regret like oh my goodness i missed out greatly what was that that was the feeling i had so i spent every time i remembered that dream i would pray and ask god to please whatever that dream was help me to be prepared help me i said i'm praying now but i don't know what to pray blah blah blah, blah okay I shared it in, in the previous video, <laughs> but anyway, so in these last few few days, just uh, recently, I had been asking the Lord about that dream. I've been asking the Lord, saying, now I understand that um, everybody in the um, cryptocurrency space are all talking about the fact that um, XRP is going to be the new system the new financial they're going to they're going to use it in the new there's a new financial system coming into play and then also we heard last year um excuse me we heard last year that they were talking about the reset and this and that and when i heard that word reset it very much brought back my memory about the um about that dream with the with the banking system that completely changed, you know, and that was when I made that video last year about the financial sis about the financial realm. So anyway, um, with all that background, lately I've been asking the Lord, is there something else about that dream? You know, is there something else about that dream? And the word I heard from the Lord was um, prayer, prior don like p r i o r don as in d o n e um and uh i i've i've checked <laughs> prior don i was like what does that mean um i don't know i feel like it it means that um it's been pre um the whole system that they are putting in place it's been prayer prior prayer don it's been prepared you know they've done it it's prior done. It's been done, and because um, I was asking the Lord, it has has it is it when is it happening? Are, are they going to do it? What's going on? Is that the dream I was having? You know, it's the whole reset thing. Oh boy, I hope I'm not going. You know, my subscribers, you guys, please. I hope you're you're used to me and how I share my my dreams now. You know, I hope it makes sense to you, but um. Yeah, so I heard the word prior dawn. So I believe uh, so strongly, um, and, and now now I feel like I'm, I'm giving a prophetic word. The system has been put in place, and okay, there uh, normal people are talking about it. Even it's you don't even have to be a prophetic person. If you go on the crypto space, they they all talk like this anyway. That. They're, they're gonna do a switch there's gonna switch switch the light and this and that so it's all been talked up, talked about so um so I do believe that um that's um been put in place it's ready uh, the switch is just about to be turned and the point of my video today is to call believers who are on the fence to consider that the Lord is um uh is asking you to um, look into XRP and uh, cryptocurrency um, 
and um, I told you that the, the word the Lord gave me is X marks the spot, you know, um, meaning the X is where the treasure is, you know. Um, so, so please spend time with the Lord. And I, I want to uh, draw your attention to um, um, two YouTubers. One of them is, um, her name is uh, Lady Queen I Am, Lady Queen I Am. And uh, the video is called Dream, Listen, and, and You Tell Me. Dream, exclamation mark, listen, and you tell me. That's the name of her video. And in that video, she gives an account of the dream that the Lord gave to her um, regarding XRP. And it's, it's a fascinating dream, actually. If you haven't seen the video, I'll encourage you to see it. And, and if you know someone who's on the fence on XRP, maybe um, nudge them to watch that uh, video because it's it's really amazing. And I really believe that the Lord did give her that dream. And then the other person as well is um, Jay Song. Um, the name of the, of the video is uh, July 7th, 2021, Crash Dream, XRP Dream. And um, the reason why I want to wa I want you to watch this video is because in that video he gives an account of a dream that the Lord gave him, and uh, it was to do with um, the, the 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 shall I say the wealth or the benefits, um, the treasure shall we say that came to him when um, yeah he had received a, a treasure truckload of treasure of, of of stuff that that was given to him but here's the point that i that i want to say he said that um there was some writing and he was trying to read the writing in the dream what was so there was something written and as he tried to read that he said holder holder of xrp or a holder of xrp or holders of xrp and when I heard that, it reminded me of what the Lord told me in one of my videos where I was making a video and I felt the Lord's presence. Do you guys remember that video? I felt his presence next to me. And he said, let each man, meaning each person, do according to what um, what's in his heart, what the Lord has put in his heart to do. And I gave the example of... Um, of the little boy with the loaf and, and the fish and how the Lord multiplied um, those things. So I want you to know that um, even if it's uh, one pound or five pounds, whatever the Lord's put in your heart, in your hand, and uh, that's interesting. Yeah, so anyway, whatever, whatever the Lord's put in your hand, wow, I don't know where that came from. That's really interesting. So whatever the Lord's put in your hand, okay, I want you to um, speak to the Lord about it like that lady, Lady Queen, watch her video. And this is a call, this is a, a prophetic call to every believer, you know, take this seriously. This um, morning, today I was um, reading uh, Exodus chapter 3, and I'll encourage you to read Exodus chapter 3 if you're spirit-filled, um, or, or if you're, you're a believer in Jesus Christ, you believe Jesus Christ purchased you with his precious blood. You believe that he gave his body. He was, he was bruised and beaten, um, you know, gave his body for, for his church. You know, you believe all of that. And the Lord is your Lord and, and, uh, and, and all of that. Then I don't want you to miss out, you know. Um, ask the Lord, you know, and if it's just... Uh, 50p that you have let the lord know that you're ready to do according to he, his um his instruction and ask him to lead you step by step spend time with god you know and if you're far away from him and you're shy you, you know you're shying away from him draw near to him you know he's merciful you know i know the enemy will say to you mm, you know you haven't been there with the Lord. You haven't spent time with the Lord. What makes you think he's going to bless you in this? Oh, oh, look at you, you hypocrite. You, you haven't been there with God. Now suddenly you want to pray. I know. Yeah, that's how the enemy talks. That's how he talks us out of everything. So don't listen to that. He's going to call you a hypocrite. He's going to call you a liar. He's going to call you a, um, a, sin, a sinner, a thief. A, he's going to call you all sorts of things. Everything in the book to distract you from um 
from drawing near to your heavenly father through Jesus Christ and, and uh, sorry to, to Jesus Christ and just say Lord um, here I am you know I, I, I'm really sorry but I really do want to listen to whatever you have for me concerning this um, cryptocurrency stuff all right like uh, guys that that's it um, I think I, I better end the video now that way I don't have to edit anything and it's very loud I'm really sorry about that Ooh, it's a bit loud so um my apologies on the background sound okay everybody cheers take care bye